right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, I'm be uh, I'm be going over the dollar index. Uh, this week has been really weird with uh, a lot of continuations because of stuff off of higher time frames. I've I've had uh, you could check my video for GBP New Zealand. Uh, I talked about GBP New Zealand and Euro New Zealand already, so we're not going to go over uh, GBP New Zealand. We'll go over it. the dollar index and maybe a few more of these. But let's check out the dollar index. I love this beautiful W that happened. Mostly when we see Ws, didn't take out the last low, we see upward movement, right? But this is on the weekly, so obviously you're going to have to be really patient. Um, the way I trade, I always put on my line track, uh, line chart. I really don't need it, but it's best for you to see the line chart to see that this area right here is the next area of um, on the weekly or the monthly. Let's see, is this a monthly? Yeah, even on the monthly. Uh, this is the next area of interest for me because of so many sharp moves can take out the move of the dollar coming back up here and probably making a lower low. So with that being said, I'm gonna put uh, a nice little support right here where this W was made. And we're gonna go from here. So on the weekly, weekly, this looks like more bullish movement to the upside. Till it gets right here and then we just see how the market reacts off of this that's what i'm seeing weekly offers oh uh, let's see these higher lows did not get taken out from this retest higher lows did not get taken out so for the last what is this the last three weeks let's see Last three weeks, we had a lot of wick rejections right there. And the market is, for this week, looks like it's making a bearish engulfing. It's all good. We still, it's still overall for me, this W is overall for me, it's a bull movement until it starts taking out these uh, higher lows down here. And I'm like, okay, it's coming back to retest this. That's weekly. So I still think the dollar has a chance to continue to um, to the upside, just retracing probably. So that brings me to the daily, where we see that it tried to come up. Those are the weak rejections that we were seeing on the weekly, but we see no more higher highs. We see a higher low right here, and the market went down, right? So let's go ahead and put the trend in now. We have the, the channel that it broke out of and looks like it's gonna come down to the upside and test, uh, to the downside and test some, some areas on the downtrend. Let's go to the H4 where I do all of my analysis, analysis for the day. Look what we see on the H4. We see that the market pushed. And see, let me, let's make this channel for the, we'll make that channel for the H4. Channel pushed and it stayed on this, this channel for a while, broke it, retested this area, start making lower lows, right? And this is where we come in at as traders. That trade gold kind of it kind of dropped out of that. See, that could have been a fake out, but I'm not gonna get faked out by knowing that this is the area of uh on the weekly. So I would have to wait for a weekly. This is a weekly uh support and resistance. So I'd have to go to the week and see it break that on the week, but it didn't. I never want to go and just oh let me take the trade. Because I trade I actually trade DXY on my um Osprey. So what I'm seeing here. Let's put the crackles on. What I'm seeing here is another channel that just started. So this is the next channel. 
the dollar, it needs to break out this channel. Because what I'm seeing here, we see those lower lows and it can come right here, test the channel, pull back up. Here's the retest area right there, but obviously it can come back to this channel and then start making lower lows. Another pullback. until it breaks out of this channel. That's what we're seeing for the dollar. But knowing that this is a weekly rejection, anything can happen, anything possible when it comes to what I'm seeing, if we remove the drawings, weekly wise, the last frackles were the support, there's a support where frackles are at. I trade frackle supports, they work out well for me, see? So we could just be getting a retrace down to here. And if it doesn't take out these lower, these higher lows, then the market is not making higher lows no more, then it's probably gonna push back up. But in order for this to push back up, of course, I would like to see these lower lows taken out up here. Then the dollar start making this move that I see based off the W, W, the movement. So that's why I see for the dollar. Uh, EG, what did I say for EG? EG is to me ranging on a, on a, on a monthly. I ain't, I'm not touching it. I don't like trading ranges like that. I need some movement even though it's bearish right now, because of course, Euro is weak this week. But if I get a nice break out of this box and retest, then I might have a swing either or. GA, this retest area got, um, yeah, it kept trying to break this retest area and it just looks like this is gonna come down. I wouldn't, at this point, we were looking for floors to, to take a pullback, but this is definitely a downtrend. Definitely a downtrend. This keeps making lower lows. It's gonna keep making lower lows. Just like we were looking at the dollar index, the dollar is pushing down in you. Just broke out of a decent wedge and it just retested the wedge a uh, couple of, what, one, two, three like six or seven days. So New Zealand might just be bearish, for, I mean, bullish for a while, start coming back to these higher highs up here. Um, actually, it's the ones on the weekly coming back up here. So Euro odd, definitely. We look at Euro odd without the frackles. What I'm seeing is just with the trained eye, there's the support. It made a head and shoulder type deal and it's just dropping. And here's the support, it's nowhere near it. So I'm not touching Euro odd for a while. I'm gonna wait for these floors to be made and then I'm gonna swing them, swing the Euros back up. It might take a while. Yep, that's what I'm seeing with the market. Bitcoin's gone. Oh, probably gonna need this. Bitcoin, oh man. Crazy thing about Bitcoin is this. I could have, I knew right here was a good support. Um, I did it wrong. I thought it was wrong. Um, down from this high and from this low to this high. You can put fibs any kind of way you want. So I saw this was a 61.8. Then I saw it reject the 50 and I was like, Ugh, and it came down a little bit. But it broke the 50 then retested the 38. 38s are really good continuations. And look, it's pulled up. Broke the high on the weekly. Is this the weekly? It broke the high on the weekly, and this is the new weekly. So let's see, monthly. 
if it stays up here for the monthly, it, it broke the monthly high. It, the, the body of the candle needs to break the, the top part of these candles for the month. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11. We got 11 days. If Bitcoin stay up here in 11 days, this is going to continue to the upside. Your little, the little $100, uh, 100K that people have been talking about, I can see that happening before it gets there and they maybe pull back <laughs> real bad to 79 or something. Yeah, this, ain't, this is not going to be a, uh, a moon all the way up there. No, it's going to be some wiggly on the weekly and monthly it's going to be it's going to be some bull and bear markets most definitely one last thing let's look at our little beloved ship new i didn't spell it right ship where is it oh it's on the other one I have it on my actual watch list. Is it this one? And with me. Bear with me. There it is. So Shib New on the H4. So Shib New on the H4 broke out of this wedge and it's making yeah this thing's gonna fly Woo, this thing gonna fly it's just making support right here and then it's just gonna so the move was the breakout of a retest and go up it already broke and retested and it's on its way up slowly if it breaks this and breaks this it's gonna continue down yeah. i would definitely keep ship new and oh compound flew out of that thing and i had this yesterday and i closed out i had some compound and it closed out this wedge Jeez. it closed it flew out of there Oh, well, <laughs> can't catch them all. That's all I can say. I will see you on the next video.